Hello, my name is Jack, and I will help you to get the most of the Design and Motion Character Kit, starting on how to use, adapt, or create characters and accessories. The first step to use the Design and Motion Character Kit is choose your character. Go to the folder Reference, then Characters. Here you can see all the characters included in this kit. Use this code to find it on the text tree folder. For instance, the clown. His code is 11. Go to the character text tree folder and look up for the number 11 and import it on the After Effects as footage. Then you can drag the text strip to the character text strip composition. Make sure to keep just one text tree on this composition per time. The project already comes with a text tree applied, so you can delete it. I made a text tree folder where you can store your text tree in use to keep the project organized. Now, the character is already applied on all animations of the project. By default, the project comes with the character proportions automatically defined by the character texture files. But it's good to know how you can take an existing character and change his proportions. You can customize the proportions on the comp character animations. Selecting the chart setup layer. On the effects panel, you will find all the character proportion options. The project comes with the automatic mode selected. When you turn off the automatic mode, you can see the default proportions. Now, you can change the proportions with these controllers Head size, eyes distance and height Mount height The body has three different options So you can create different shapes like this guy here You can adjust the neck thickness on the arms, you can adjust the width between them, the height, the thickness, and the size. You can as well adjust the hand size. On the legs, you can adjust the height, the width between them, the thickness, and the size. And you can adjust the foot size too. You have individual controllers for the left and the right side of the arms and legs. Here, you can turn on and off the overbody mask. I will explain later what exactly it does. If you want to adapt a character, or even create one from the scratch, you will use the character texture composition. It is the same that we use it to drop our character texture. As you can see, we have two guidelines that will help us to draw our character. You must draw between them. Here, you can draw the eyes and the mouth and its variations. Later, you will be able to animate different facial expressions using these variations. In this region, you can draw the head, the body, the arms, legs, and feet. When you are editing these parts of the body, you must think on it as an 108 degree texture. So all there is inside this outline will just show up when the character is on the front view. What is outside the guide will show up only when we turn around the character. The texture will slide inside the body. 
And this is how this illusion of perspective works on this character kit. Almost every part of the body works on the same way, including the arms, legs, fingers and the head. All these parts are masked by the body part. The feet are slightly different, you just need to follow the guide. So all that is inside the guide will appear on the front view of the head. And when you turn the head around, you will see what is outside the main guideline. Some parts works in a different way. The ears, for example. This dark zone shows where the ear is masked by the head. If you see the character, this is the part where the ear is masked, given the illusion that it is part of the head. You can use all this gray zone to create your ear. Now the head. It's a special part because it works on three levels. To help you to understand, we may say that we have a foreground, an in-between level, and a background. It was made in three parts because when you move the head around, it gives you a 3D illusion of the head. This is the character proportion area. It's very important part of the texture. We have all these squares with numbers. Every square represents a different proportion parameter. When you import a texture with the automatic mode on, all the proportions parameter are set by the texture. To change a value, you just need to change the color of the square. We will use a specific value that goes from 0 to 100. For example, to change the value 1, just draw a square here. On the color, set 0 for the hue and saturation. We always will put our value on the B field, the brightness. 75, for example. Every time that you change the B value, it changed the character proportion parameter that it shows. But just when the automatic mode is on. You can adapt or create your new character directly on the character texture composition on After Effects. You can also use your favorite drawing software to do that. In this case, it's great because you can keep all your character settings saved in one file. Then you can use it on different projects later. In this case, you will need a guide layer. You can find the guides layers on the character guides folder that you can find in three different formats. A PNG guide that is made of three different layers. The first layer is the bottom layer, then the, the full proportion layer, and at least the top layer. I made an illustrator and a Photoshop version with the layers already placed. Creating a character. I will create a new character on Illustrator, but you can make it on your favorite drawing software or directly on the After Effects. You can split the screen to keep track of the character creation. The first step is save your texture and import it on the After Effects. I will save it on the character texture folder and I will call it boy. In this case, you need to import just the character texture layer. You can drag it to the character texture composition and delete the previous character. Now I will draw the character. I will apply a fast forward on it. There is no big secret on this part. Just keep in mind that the legs, feet, arms, fingers, neck, and the head have a default shape. You will focus on creating a great field 
texture to them. The ears and the three different levels of the head doesn't have a default shape. You can use them to create a different silhouette to your character. There are two special fields that I need to explain how to use. On this one, you can create static details that overlap the character. For example, a skirt. Or extend the shirt sides to create a detail that is impossible on the body texture. But these details will always be static, attached to the character. The other field works slightly different and it has two options. The first option creates an element that overlaps the body but it's not aesthetic. It will react to the body perspective. For example, if you want to add a breast to the character, you can do it here. The other part of this field that I call the overbody mask is to create an element that overlap the body and react to the body perspective but doesn't exceed the body silhouette. To use this option, you must to change this square from white to black. This square set how this field will operate. So in this case, you will need to choose between black and white only. You can use this field to create a shirt extension. It was very useful on characters like the bellboy and the chief, where it was necessary to extend the cloth, but the texture details should follow the character direction. We already saw how to customize the character in manual mode where you can change the parameters to adjust the character proportions. The automatic mode works in the same way, but the parameter informations are kept on the texture file. All you have to do is use the reference number to understand what parameter you are customizing. For example, to change the head size, find the parameter 1 in the texture and edit the shape color. Set 0 for the hue and saturation and put a veil from 0 to 100 on the brightness field. By the full, this parameter is 50. To create a small head, you can put 20, for example, and save the file. It will only work if the automatic mode is on. If you turn it off, the parameter of the project will drive the character proportion. Let's change the head size again. To change the arm's thickness, change the value of the squares 11 and 14. Set 45, for example. So you can set all these parameters directly on the text file. Just remember, the 25 field can only be set full black or white to turn on and off the overbody mask. The process to apply an accessory to the hand of the character is very similar to the process to import a character texture. First, you can choose your accessory on the reference accessory folder. 
get the code to import the texture from the texture accessory folder. So to import the travel bag, for example, use the 37 code to find it on the texture accessory folder. Import it on the After Effects and drag it to the left or right hand texture. It will be automatically applied to the character. You can change the accessory depth. Just go to the Character Animation Composition and select the accessory layer. On the effect panel, you will see that the automatic mode is on. It will work in the same way as the character proportions. You can turn off the automatic mode to customize it right on the project. Then just play with the values. Let's import a new accessory to the right hand. I will customize this accessory depth as well. You can create an accessory. The process is very similar to the character texture creation. It can be done directly on the After Effects, on the left and right hand texture, using these guides as reference or you can use the guides files. I made a PNG version that you can use in any draw application and a Photoshop version and an Illustrator version. I will use the Illustrator version on this example. So to create the accessory, just draw it on the accessory texture layer. Save the file and import it on the After Effects. Select the Accessory Text layer, then Document Size, and drag to the left hand texture composition. The accessory extrusion is set by this square on the automatic mode. I created a character texture transition that I want to show you how to use. First, import an animation to the timeline. Now, import the textures that you want to use. Open the composition character texture. Then drop the first texture. Delete this other one. Find on the animation comp the point where you want the transition. Then drop the second texture. This is what we have now. Import the transition project. You can find it on the Extras Project folder. It calls Design and Motion Transition. It can take a while to import. Drag this guy to the character texture one and the other to the character texture two. On the original character texture, drop the transition and adapt the textures. Now you have the transition. <laughs>